What is up, people? What is up, people? This is Abraham Walker, Ask A Walker, you know, the Virginia real estate agent. So our last video was the Bryant model. We're in Brambleton. This is in Loudoun for the people who don't know. And this is by, these models are by TriPoint Homes. There are some quick delivery options that are available. If you're interested, let me know. Now, we, the Bryant model had the rooftop terrace, the Aurora model does not, but the Aurora model does have 24 feet width. So it's 24 feet across. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. If I didn't talk about it enough in the previous video, that means that you really have a, a true two car garage right here. Um, and so let's go explore this one together. I have not been in this unit yet. I haven't been in this unit, unit yet, which is not common. Usually I go and tour the units. Before we go into this beautiful home, did you know that there are three recommended home inspections for new construction properties? If you didn't, let's work together to ensure you have the best building experience in Northern Virginia. I specialize in assisting buyers like you throughout the entire new construction process. Best of all, the builder covers my real estate commission, which means you'll have no money out of pocket for my services. I'll be with you through your contract negotiation, design center consultation, three home inspections, final walkthrough, and the signing of your closing paperwork to receive the keys for your new home. To get started, simply click the link in the description below to complete our perfect home questionnaire. Once completed, we'll meet online via Zoom to answer all your questions about buying a new home in Northern Virginia. But for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of this stunning property tour. I'll talk to you soon. But we're gonna look at this together because I don't feel like climbing all these stairs. So it looks like we have a similar design where we have this open foyer area. Um, look at this, that's a nice little touch right there. So that's a little heating system for this space. So this space right here is going to get cold because it's so open. It also is at the bottom, but they thought of everything. TriPoint Home is quite deliberate when it comes to how they design things. You know what? We didn't count those stairs. One, two, nine, ten. Then we have the stairs that go up to the main living space. In the other model, this is a half bath. It's the same thing over here. All right, so a little powder room. And then let's go take a look downstairs. All right. One, two, seven, eight, nine. So we have the mud room right there. So we have ourselves a, okay, so this model doesn't have the bedroom. So you still have the full bathroom right there. And then you just have it more of a, just a, a flex space type of area. And you have the large backyard. Look at that full-size patio furniture. And, you know, it depends on how you use your basement. If you need a, an, an office, dedicated office space, or if you need a fourth bedroom, then this layout may not work for you, which is fine. The other model, watch the other video to see how that looks when it is kind of closed off a little bit. So let's go upstairs to, oh, you know what? I just noticed something. I just noticed something. Look at the, um, look at what they did with the, the deck support. So usually this is just like raw wood. Like they, you know, they don't really do too much with it, but look, they encased it uh, with something to make it more presentable. Look at that, that's what I'm talking about. It's the little thing. It's the little thing to try point. Try point, they're serious about being better than everyone else. All right. All right, so we have ourselves a center kitchen option. All right, so we have the rear there and we have our dining room towards the front. I do like the way this dining room space, you know, each option gives you you know, they're, they're pluses and minuses, right? They're pluses and minuses. So if you have the rear kitchen, then your dining room is in the center, which doesn't give you the best lighting, right? 
But when you have the center kitchen, or the, the kitchen in the middle, your dining room is either off of the back of the property or the front, and it's, it's quite picturesque, right? Wouldn't you agree? I love this wall installation right here. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's take a look at this kitchen here. So we have the sink in the middle of the island. We also have like the little waterfall feature here, which is nice. It's a nice to have. We have our step-in pantry. Oh, not a step-in pantry, just a double door pantry system. So pretty wide, so you'll be able to fit all your mixers, your dry goods, um, you'll notice that we have less cabinet space here and we don't have the double wall oven with the microwave. But we do have the microwave insert here with your wall oven insert. We have a traditional vent hood there as well. And I think you'll agree there's a lot of space in between these two areas here. I like that they went with the different color cabinets on the island, then we have our living space. So the living space is interesting in the sense that since it's 24 feet wide, you have an opportunity to put together another sitting area right along this wall here. I love the wallpaper bookshelf. That is cool. Come on now, that is cool. Look at that, that is, well, that's fancy. Yeah, that's fancy. You know, normally I'm not really a fireplace type of guy, but for this setup here, I think the fireplace works really nicely. So let's go take a look at the deck here. So this deck is, is gonna be different than the next door unit because the kitchen is along this wall over here, whereas there's nothing along this wall. So to give you a double sliding door here. So when this, door is open, it really does look like it does marry the, the interior with the exterior here. So it's quite, quite nice. 24 feet wide again, because of the width, you get full size furniture. You have your grilling station over here and you still have another small sitting area you could do along this section of the deck. All right, let's get up to the bedroom level. Let's count these stairs. One, two, 14, 15, 16. So 16 stairs. I think I mentioned this at the beginning. This unit does not have a rooftop terrace. We have the owner's suite off to the back of the property, guest bedrooms to the front. We have our linen closet right here before we go into guest bedroom number one. Look at that piece of furniture there. That's a, that's a hefty piece of furniture. So these rooms are big enough to where you could fit a king size bed in here, but you would have to do away with the nightstand or you put a king size bed in here, you take that door off, put like a curtain or something that con condenses or folds, and then you just have one nightstand and I think it could work. I think, I think it could work. All right, so this is guest bedroom number one. So let's take a look at this closet. Oh, this is a step-in closet. So then we have guest bedroom number two. Oh, again, look at the wallpaper there. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wow, that is nice. Oh, I like that, that is, that's cool. That's nice, I like that. Um, so we're off to the front of the property there. Two sizable nightstands. Nightstands giving off some West Elm vibes. And we have just a smaller closet here. And you still have a nice size wall here. Maybe put a TV there, put a lower profile dresser there. You can still get a desk 
in here. So plenty of options here. So we have our hall bathroom, single vanity with the tub. Then we have our laundry room right there. We have a little space for sitting something. I mean, you can put a little bench there or you can put a little piece of artwork that people don't understand. And we have the owner's suite. Is this not a cool light? Like something from Ultron or something like that, Voltron. All right, so again, this is, this is like a similar layout as the unit before. You have a nice wall there for your main dresser. You have enough space for a king size bed, two nightstands. You have these wooded lot views here. And we have a large walk-in closet. I'm sad to say that I could fill up this closet by myself, so, but I do have a shopping problem. And we have a double vanity with our walk-in shower. It looks like a more upgraded shower here, but we do have the shower bench and the toilet closet here. So that's it for this tour. Keep in mind, there are some quick delivery options. So if you don't wanna to wait to receive one of these or spec one out yourself, those options are available. There's a link in the description if you're ready to start your real estate journey. Click on that link and we will schedule a time to meet online via Zoom to answer any and all of your questions about real estate. Until next time, peace.